After having the wood all delivered, we had to haul it up our mountain and we are continuing to build this lean-to shed so that way we can save water off of it into this thousand gallon rain tank. After putting in six four x four posts and the concrete is dry, When you work mostly by yourself, you learn little tricks like putting in a screw and using that as kind of like a extra hand when you're leaning up a board and you're doing it up high. Also clamps, one-handed clamps are good. Now eventually, I'll probably build a pond at some point, but I feel like these are the baby steps to get there. We're gonna try this, seeing if this works, seeing how well it works, seeing if we like it, and then we'll go from there. This lean-to shed is going to be the baby steps to get to that pond, and plus, it will be dual purpose. It's shelter, it's shade, it's storage, and it saves rain. It's starting to look like something. This is the front. We're just from the floor up top here. We're looking at about nine feet tall. Probably not necessary to make two two by sixes here. Uh, probably could get away with one, but you know, I figure I like to over engineer sometimes. That's why I went with two bags of concrete per four by four post. In the past, I would just do maybe one bag. I like to visualize what I need to do. This is going to, what's, I'm gonna drill the tin roof on. Uh, so I'm kind of seeing where that's gonna lay. And then also keep in mind that we need to have a pipe that goes into here. Having these two screws here helps hold this up, man. That helps so much. We're using half inch bolts. You know, you first you put the screws in just to kind of hold the two by six in place or, you know, make sure that's where you want it. And then you pound these in. To build a structure, 
like this, I suggest do getting some help if you can. If not, don't let that stop you. Even though I already drew this on paper, it's still different. So, and drawing on paper is kind of like a rough sketch to kind of give an idea. And then as I'm doing it, I'm already seeing like, okay, that's gonna change, that dimension's gonna change. I'm just putting up here temporary just to kind of see what's going on how wide I want to do these. I think this is good. I still have to chop down these four by fours. Yeah, this is another tedious part of lining up the roof all the way down and make everything as even as possible and then putting down the metal. lost my marker usually when you start losing stuff after working outside <laughs> that's when I think it's time to call it a day Wow I think I got a lot done um yeah like I said whenever you're working out hey I just saying this I found my marker I found it. I still need to add some bolts on this end, which is back to the hardware store. And then I'm not gonna leave that as long. Probably end up cutting that a little bit. Uh, but I'm thinking that's gonna be the end of the roof. And then I gotta do that all the way down. Uh, and then we'll put on the cross members and then the, the metal. So what's Lorraine doing today? This morning I had some bananas that were going bad. <laughs> they weren't bad, but they were going brown. And so I'm making banana bread and it's just with einkorn flour. So we ground this wheat into flour because we buy our einkorn berries whole from Azure Standard. And then um, so we ground it into flour and I'm making uh, banana bread with, with the einkorn and um, I'm putting chocolate chips in this batch with some walnuts. Sometimes I don't put any chocolate chips at all, but just to kind of jazz it up a little and make it fun. Instead of bread, you're making donuts? I know, I said I was making bread. Well, it's still banana bread, but um, I'm using this silicone donut mold and it's fantastic. We've had it for years and instead of having fried donuts, we are having baked banana bread donuts and they come out looking just like donuts and they're really pretty. Yeah, something about bread in a donut form. <laughs> I think it makes it taste a little bit better. <laughs> <laughs> well, especially if you haven't had like, what is that brand? Yum Yum Donuts uh, or store-bought commercial donuts in a long time. Yeah. These actually taste really good. <laughs> I'm going to bake it for about 35 minutes, but if it was in a loaf pan, it would bake for almost an hour, but this is about 35 minutes, but I have some more. So I'm going to, before I put these in the oven, I'm going to fill up muffins.
They look good. Yeah, they're really good. So these are fun if you frost them with a little bit of frosting or like a glaze. That's the way, that's the direction they go. I mean, you, if you place them this way, they don't really look so much like a donut, but they look more like a muffin donut. <laughs> but when you place them this way, you can put like a glaze over with um, whatever toppings you want. Sprinkles, nuts, All right. banana bread donuts. 